have you ever been in a situation, maybe it's an elevator, maybe you're at a caravan, maybe you're at Home Goods and you see that ideal client? Well, do you have your elevator pitch down to get that client signed up through your company? That's what we're going to talk about on today's module. value and, and resources to just thinking outside the box with taking that elevator pitch and also making it into a statement for your business. So when someone asks you what you do, you already have this memorized in your head. So I'm excited to kind of go over this. I've been trying to practice the elevator pitch myself to keep it under a minute and I've been about 46 seconds as many times as I've read it. So it'll be interesting in learning these five steps of what you need to cover in such a short amount of time. Yeah, super exciting. You know, I remember Lori back in, my gosh, oh, going back eight, nine years ago and then five years ago and doing exercises when it comes to being in a room with um, other business leaders and, and business owners and going through an exercise of, you know, as we'll talk about in a moment, you know, your USP. What is that one little phrase that you could just plug in that allows people to go, ah, that's amazing. I want to know more, right? So I think that that's huge, um, especially today when we have so much clutter. Like, how do we clearly get our messaging across and how do we connect with them um, to see if they're a perfect client for us? Yes. So, so that will be so. So we're going to start with the five steps to crushing your elevator pitch. So there's actually five things you can just write down. You have the resource here. I've kind of explained it. But first of all, so we're gonna use the example, maybe you're in an open house and you're on caravan. That's like one of the most, you know, big, the biggest um, way to reach some of the clients in different area, regions of the United States. So you're at a caravan or you're at the open house and you see Mr. Top Notch agent that you wanna work with. You don't want to get super excited like I do. My, my voice goes up, I talk really fast. So we wanna make sure that we're calm, cool, and collective. <sighs> Breathe. And we want to let them know first who we are. So you don't wanna just come and say, hey, I wanna stage one of your houses. You know, you wanna say, I, I'm Lori, I'm with Model My Home. And then you want to, so you wanna make sure that they hear your name and they hear your company first. Because if, he does, if they don't hear anything else, they can say, oh, that one person from that company I spoke with, and I, I wanna look that up. Secondly is your background. What certifies you to work with this person? So explain where you're from. I'm from Model My Home, or for instance, um, you know, I work for the Home Staging and Redesign Association, and this is what we do. So they understand who you are, and what your background is. You specialize in luxury staging. You specialize in home consultations, or I specialize in social media. Whatever it is that you and your company specialize in, you wanna get that secondly. So who you are and what your company background is. And then explain what your company does. Not every single person just does luxury home staging. And so all the different associations, we all do something different. So we want to make sure that we explain what we actually do. And then the connection. This is huge, I think, because you obviously are approaching the person and you know who they are. So you need to tell them who you know that they are. So I know that you just listed the home on 123 Roxbury. I love the design. I noticed, you know, um, that it's not staged or is staged or whatever. But you, and, and oh, you sold this, this multi-million dollar listing. Or you worked with the Property Brothers. Or you did this. Like, give them their notoriety because everybody wants to be, feel valued and known in their business. Especially realtors because their face is their business pretty much. And then the last thing is the ask. How, who can I speak with at your, um, your real estate company or your, your um, agency to work with you, to send you my portfolio, or you know, who can I speak with to get you signed up for membership? 
we need to make the ask. And if anything, they might just be like, you just gave them a lot of good information and they just went, oh yeah, Sally, here, here's her number. Or they give you your their business card. You definitely want to give them your business card and want to make sure that when you grab that information, that you actually contact them within 24 hours. If you say, thank you so much, Mr. Agent, I will send you an email tonight, that should be the very next thing when you sit in front of the computer that you're ready to go and you send that email and that email is so nice to meet you today at the caravan on, you know, um, I don't know, Season Street and I look forward to working with you and doing this but you need to get those five points across when you're asking for business and you're wanting to get their business and making sure that they understand who you are and why you want their business. We hope you've enjoyed this featured module. To gain access to the full resource and over 150 modules just like this, click the link below.